All right, so I'm here with Macy Peterson. You have an amazing app. It's called On Second Thought. Yes. And it actually lets you do the thing that I've been doing with my Gmail for a long time and always wished I had on text message, undo it, yep. right? So yep. tell me about how it works. Yeah, so On Second Thought is super easy to use. After downloading our app, you just set it as your default messenger. So all texts sent to and from your phone go through our app. In the settings, you can set the length of your grace period, and that's the right. amount of time that you have to take your message back. It can be between zero and 60 seconds. I'm a little impatient, so mine is seven, and that yeah. means after hitting send, I have seven seconds to swipe to get my message back. Yeah, it's incredible how much this comes up. In my Gmail account, I swear I hit that thing a couple times yeah. every day at least. Exactly. So. On average, how much are your users actually undoing their messages? So one in five messages sent through the app get undone. So that's 20%, which is pretty overwhelming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it makes me wonder how much I say that I should be taking back. Well, you know, and I think a lot of it is like autocorrect or you just want to say things differently. And sometimes it is that you accidentally sext your boss and then you can get the message back. All oh, right. That, when that accidentally happens, it's trouble. So exactly. tell me about this curfew feature that you've added to. Yeah. So the curfew feature is for those nights when you might have a bit too much liquid courage. <laughs> You can set your curfew for the time you want it to go on and the time you want it to go off. And all messages during that uh, sent during that period get embargoed. And so then the next morning you can say, yep, I want to send that, or oh my goodness, I can't believe I was going to say that. That would be the worst in the morning. Just being, what was I thinking? Because I just see them sent and I just delete them. I'm not even, I'm like too scared to even read them. Like I don't even want to know what I'm going to have to deal with, so it's just exactly. done. And so the beauty of it is that it never actually went through in the first place, and so you can laugh at yourself <laughs> and maybe have a good story. Do you have a good story from a user? Did anybody ever tell you about a day it saved them? Um, well, we've had great stories about people who have sent messages that they wanted to take back and couldn't and therefore downloaded our app. Gotcha. Um, and then I have a pretty good story of my own about sure. the inspiration. So my ex-boyfriend had been calling me and for some reason I just oh, kept yeah. missing his calls and I wasn't avoiding them, we're good friends. Yeah. Um, and so I'd written, hey, for some reason I keep missing your calls and Autocrack changed it to, hey, for some reason I keep missing your balls. Oh, so he was <laughs> like thinking it's time to like, reconnect. Which was not what I was trying to say to him. And he was like, well, either way, I was like, no, I meant calls, you know? And so, you know, after slamming my fingers against my phone and that not working, that was the inspiration to, cre to create on Second Thought. All right, well, that's pretty And you've got, you said 44,000 users over at this 44, point? 44,000 users. The app has been used over a million times. We were called the texting savior by AT&T. And Vice Magazine called us one, or named us number one on their list of apps beating Uber and Tinder. Okay, all right, guys. Well, learn from her mistakes. <laughs> don't send messages that you don't want to send and download the app. And we're available now in the Google Play Store and we're releasing iPhone um, in a few weeks. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah.